China confirmed more deaths from the virus and thousands of new cases. Local health authorities are seeking plasma donors as researchers there believe they can use the antibodies of recovered patients to help develop treatment. Japan has reported its first death from the virus and it's begun disembarking passengers aged 80 years and up, as well as those with pre-existing conditions aboard the quarantine cruise ship. Park Yijun has the updates. The death toll from the coronavirus is still shooting up in China. According to the country's National Health Commission, the total number of deaths in mainland China has reached more than 1,300 and the number of infections has reached 63,000. That's 120 additional deaths and 5,000 newly confirmed cases on Thursday, and Hubei province, the center of the outbreak, saw 116 of those deaths and more than 3,000 of those new confirmed cases of the virus. Health officials also say that more than 1,700 medical staff contracted COVID-19 and six died from the illness. China appears to have found a new therapy to treat contracted patients. The country's state-owned medical products manufacturer is collecting plasma from patients who have recovered from the virus. This is after it was discovered its use in treating critically ill patients. The company said those who received the treatment showed improvement within 24 hours. Japan on Thursday reported its first death link to the outbreak. It was a woman in her 80s, a resident in the Kanagawa prefecture near Tokyo. She'd been in hospital since February 1st after being diagnosed with pneumonia. This is the third death outside mainland China, following one death in the Philippines and another in Hong Kong. Hong Kong added three more coronavirus cases, bringing its total to 53. The U.S. has also confirmed its 15th case on Thursday, local time. On board the Diamond Princess cruise ship docked in Japan, health authorities on Friday moved 11 senior passengers who tested negative for the virus to health facilities after putting 3,600 passengers under two weeks of mandatory quarantine. No Korean citizens are known to have been included among the released. So far, there have been a total of 218 infected cases after another 44 cases were confirmed Thursday. Park Hee-jun, Irang News.